Hello, it's Deltas and I'm uh, one of the Stormworks developers. In this video, we're quickly going to go over how to integrate your own ship into the new AI ships script system. Uh, so the way we've uh, designed the Lua AI script is that it simply searches all of the missions that are currently active and for any location within a mission, if it matches a pattern, we will include that as an AI ship in the script. So it means that any player can create content that matches the pattern and it will be used by the script even if it isn't in the same mission file so I'm quickly going to go over the process uh, and it, essentially it just involves creating a vehicle that matches the pattern and creating a mission location that then matches that pattern uh, so here I've just taken one of the existing vehicles I've painted the whole blue so we can see that this in fact does work that it's a unique vehicle and I'm just going to show the one uh, important detail that we've added onto the seat. It's very important that we tell the vehicle which seat is the uh, is used uh, by the game. And of course, the seat should be named Captain. And it should have an AI type set. And this simply just tells the game what kind of AI this seat is is controlling, or what what type of AI should be used. And in this case, this seat drives the ship so it's set to ship pilot. Um, there's a couple of other things to, to understand when the AI is driving the seat they just drive the seat like any player would so there is a control scheme that needs to be used and the control scheme is uh, very simple uh, A and D or the first axis is for the left and right and that should not be set to sticky that should uh, be set to reset mode. Uh, with W and S this is the axis 2 is forward and backward uh, and this again holding W should make the ship move forward and S should make the ship move backwards. Uh, the AI doesn't deal with changing gears and so on and, or clutch so W and S needs to have kind of some kind of automatic gear changing system if required or use electric motors or whatever you want to do but W and S holding W should move the vehicle forward, holding S should move it backwards and letting go should of course go to a neutral position. Uh, and then the other two things to know is hotkey 1 and 2 and hotkey 1 should start the engine of the vehicle or set the vehicle to be active so that could also turn on lights and so on if you wish and of course hotkey 2 should stop the get vehicle and make it inactive. Uh, so it's a very simple control scheme um, and that's all that needs to be done in the vehicle file. So if we then go into the mission editor, I will start a new mission file and it's very important to name your mission file so that you can find it later. Uh, and we want to add a mission location. So it's not an environment mod because environment mods are always spawned at the start of the game. This is a mission location, it's spawned by the script. So we'll add an ocean tile and we'll edit this ocean tile and we'll simply add the vehicle we just created. We'll just place it in the center there. Uh, we also need to add a character. So if I go to the add character button, I'll just click there. And then of course I want to select these both and set the information on them. The character simply wants to be called Captain and our script will find the captain and place them in the seat when the vehicle spawns. For the vehicle, we simply want to name it type equals AI boat. And that just sets the that's the required tag. And then the game is now going to recognize this location as a valid place to spawn AI boat. So if we click off that, that's everything done there. We could of course add more locations if we wished and we could have many locations. Each location would have a single vehicle and a, a single NPC to drive the vehicle in it and we could we could add them all here. Uh, but for now I'm going to save them. I'm just going to save over my Deltar's AI boat playlist. And that's all there is to it. So this script should now work. So I will return to the main menu and I will start a new custom game and I will just select my script, my new mission file in the mission selector. So I'm just going to click new game. 
I'm going to leave all the official ones on and of course we've got the default AI uh, script and that is required obviously to, to use the AI system and then I'm just going to scroll down here I'm going to select my Deltas AI boat script that we've just made or mission file should I say we'll confirm and of course it's going to start the game and then once the game starts I will go and find this boat and with the magic of editing I will skip the part where I am searching for the boat and we should come back and we'll have a boat and we found one this is the uh, boat we just added um, and uh, it was simple as setting up the AI type on the boat adding it as the mission location and of course getting the the, uh, the control scheme correct and it's now sailing around the ocean it is of course using the same pathing system and behaving in the same way as all boats thank you for watching i hope the video was helpful